Let's give Baba Luke a standing ovation, ladies and gentlemen. Standing ovation for the one and only Baba Luku. To identify yourself. I identify myself as a cultured hip-hop kid. I was born in Muck, India, first and foremost. I'm a preacher's kid, secondary. So the line of service is not something that's alienated in my being. It's in my DNA. Now, I want to pay homage to Bataka Squad. Big up to Lyrical G. From Dinda to Muck, India, you know the real. We don't need to tread with the, with the street politics. I want to big up to clear cut. You need to know, in growing up as young people, we loved hip hop before the money came. And when we loved hip hop, we chose specific paths according to our capability and capacities. Today, I see a lot of young people struggling with identifying their craft and being able to know the worth within their gift. Now, when they say I was to be getting a Lifetime Achievement Award, I didn't say it was overdue. I say it was ancestral aligned. See, I've been serving young people for the last 15 years. I'm one of the young black people who can say I invested in my generation without corporation. I bring my creative money from Canada. I travel to every village that invites me, and I make sure I give them a plug. Why am I saying that? All the young people in this building today, the future relies on you. I want to remind you that the investment within your gift currency, I say the word gift currency, is the ultimate builder of billionaires. For you who look at paper and get lucrative you know, ideologies that limit your vision. This here has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a good rapper. There's a lot of rappers better than me. They do exist. But I say I'm also not a mediocre rapper. So, true story, when I was in Canada growing up, I didn't know that I would keep my language alive. My family, my brothers don't speak my language, but I do. Actually, one of my brothers learned it before my grandpa passed away because they didn't need a translator anymore. But the reality of keeping your language is what puts me here today. The word is Luga flow. The Swahili word that means languages. A lot of you got it confused when you thought we're just talking about Luganda and all of this stuff. No, it was the idea that when we let our generation reconnect to their language, they'll keep the culture alive, they will be able to be self-identified and have a powerful foundation to become the builders of their community. So, the people you see on the stage with me, Ram, where you at? I've known this young brother since he was 12 years old. Now, when you go to Stone City, it's one of the dopest, the nicest, but it's also a leader, a builder, and his community relies on him. Big up. Gilbert. I met Gilbert when he was around 16, 17. He was a leader then. Of course, he found his passion, is building with other organizations and still giving back. The idea is that when we get a chance to realize what our gifts are, it's not just to make money. Don't forget that. Because a lot of you in here come in the industry just thinking I want to get paid. It really breaks my heart to see a generation of Ugandan focusing their ideologies on capitalism. Now the foundation of their inert indigenous wealth that is of the land, that's within the land, and that's designed by all of us to make sure that we build a generation that thrives. So today, as I'm here, big up to the brother where we're in, another powerful creative founder of KQ, you know, thank you for being here to present this award. I move with what I call, I have a slogan that says, I walk with passionate lions who are compassionate and looking forward to take care, build, and lead others into futures. 
People ask me, Baba Luku, what do I do? If you knew what I do in Uganda, I'll pay you a thousand dollars. Because if I ask this whole entire audience, they don't know what I do. They just see a brother every day. Whether you find me in a ghetto or on a border border or with my bougie friends, wherever I'm at, nobody knows what the hell I do. But I want to share something with you. For the last, we just celebrated 20 years. So for the last 20 years, we've been here having a hip hop conversation. So many new schoolers want to shift the narrative. But if you ain't giving me a 20 year script and before, we're not listening. So let's learn to honor those who are here before us. Let's learn to come from a place of love. Let's build a foundation that encourages views and chooses to transform so we could all move into a future that literally looks like all of us. They say a community that's all is a community that's supposed to win. A community that's whole is a community that looks like all of us here. This lifetime achievement I want, I didn't want to come up here and be cheesy. This is something we've told for, we've worked for. When you see all our peers that came before us, Bataka Squad chose never to go commercial intentionally so that there will be a generation that stands for something. Whether they were in the ghetto, whether they were in the villages, or whether they were in the urban setting. We wanted to say, presidents, that until we represent ourselves and reclaim the identity of who we are, we would always be up on action blocks for sale. Now, I'm not a brother up for sale. I grew up in Canada. When I'm home, I love to say I don't come here to work for people because I'm self-employed for 20 years. I got a family. You know, my kids are well. My mother is well. The foundation is nice. But what am I going to tell you? We as a hip-hop family, need to start honoring the culture loyally and bring the love that allows us to thrive, build, inspire, and create this kind of opportunities. So I want to shout out the organizers, you know, club. Thank you for seeing this as a worthy card. Well, the new school, as you didn't know, when we were building, no one was celebrating us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's give it a hundred. When we were building, there were no screens. You know what I'm saying? There was no glitter and glamour. We were just in the corners of like DVA, you know what I'm saying? You know, sharing home, you know what I'm saying? And so you need to know that there's been progress. A lot of people want to talk about hip hop dying. Uganda, you just experienced in a renaissance, a resurrection of a youthful voice that is here to stay. And hip hop is going to be a part of our fabric, whether we like it or not, because in this social construct, this one the foundation for young people to grow. So to all the ghetto massive, I dedicate this to you. To all the young builders in each ghetto corner around the city, I know the work you've done, and I've worked with you. And so when I win, the reason I call my young brothers to come, I say, you know what? It's, it's unworthy of me to collect this, because it's not about me. But you have to be a part of the process. You know, I thank you for raising a fire cipher. As you can see, that's what we've done for 15 years. So all your rappers out in here trying to test anybody, I dare you to come to our cipher. You know what I'm saying? That's hip hop. That's hip hop. That's hip hop. You know what I'm saying? We are not your average rappers and we don't breed them like that. A lot of you have gone on bypasses to think that just doing similes is what it is. You gotta tap into the source of the energy. So as I complete my speech, I want to say much love to my mother. She's in Canada as I speak. Mom, if you ever find this clip on YouTube, this one's for you. My six brothers, I know you all are watching your crazy brother in Africa still saying hip-hop. I'm still hip-hop. You know, my sisters, I love you. And to the mothers of my children, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> will continue with this kind of DNA, with this kind of fire, and so, but finally, I want to give a hand of applause to every young hip hopper in this house, for your, for your contribution to ensure that the culture will continue, that it will be here, but like my grandpa told me, the house divided will not stand.
So my message to you as hip hoppers, collaborate, engage in measures of sharing opportunities. We got to my brothers in Tanzania, I learned from them a lot, but we need to come together as Ugandan hip hop fraternity. And now I'm just be engaging as people who are seeking opportunities, but showing corporations, private companies, the government, whatever we stand for, that we are contributors. Until then, catch me in the field working, sustainable access foundation. definitely knows all the corners and for that matter we get in the cypher Baba joins